taking this. I'll do it! Help me, Kagura. It's over. Yukusane! I'm rooting for you! I'm taking this. Got it! Check me. Kusane, go! Help me, Kagura. Show me what you got. Keep your guard up. I'm taking this. I'm taking this. That seems to be the spot. Useless. I'm rooting for you. Check me. According to my data, the projectiles shot by that other cause temporary confusion.
It's up to you. <laughs> Getting a force transmission. This is a video of Chief Sumeragi. We were sent to Earth, our motherland, in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, they created the extinction belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday. We would destroy the Extinction Belt, and attack the Moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the Moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? Yes. It is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason Nuhimuka exists. Even if it's just a normal person's brain, with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. By connecting so many psionics, Nuhimuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, it would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities. And personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end, and neither am I! Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Oh, it looks like Yuito came through. This was our plan, to send out this video to every citizen. Yakumo Sumeragi's wish? He wasn't the kind of man to seek vengeance at the expense of the people. That's a disingenuous interpretation. So Seiron wants to keep the extinction belt, because if it disappeared, it would mean war with the moon. This could be bad. People are just going to panic now that they know. Guys, don't let the video distract you. I'm getting other readings close by. How did they get so close to us? Get ready, everyone. Time for stealth. Whoa, I didn't see it coming because of the forced broadcast. Haruka saved us. Let's clean this up. Using the Shida. For you, Kasane. It's working. Focus on that spot. The liquid in that tank on its back. It looks a lot like water. Those water attacks are pretty annoying. Is there anything we can do? Okay, that was... There! Just as I thought! 
your power. Run, youngster! I'm taking this. Nice. The enemy doesn't see us. The force broadcast means Yumito was successful. I still wonder about Karin, though. I hope Yumito was here and got away from him safely. That seems to be the spot. Use it well. I'll support you. It's up to you. Using the Sheeta. For you, Kasane. Here! You have a taste! You're good! Not quite as good as me, though. Haruka? It seems like there's some signal interference. An earthquake? This far down? Yuito! Are you okay? That was Hanabi. Let's hurry. Say something, Yuito! Hanabi! What happened? Where's Karin? Kasane! He attacked and captured everyone, but then Yuito started screaming in pain. We were all hacked by Arahabaki. I think something must have happened to Yuito when we were dealing with that. Afterwards, Karin activated some power and disappeared. Kasane, do you have any idea about that? <laughs> what are we going to do? He used the red strings. I don't know what Major General Karin did, but it's clear that it had some adverse effect on Yuito's brain. But his brain is already... He's exhibited signs of speech and memory impairment before, but never to this extent. He went to the hospital, but they said it was only exhaustion. Wait! Yuito, we're right here! No! He can't hear us! Then we'll brain talk directly to his mind. Yuito! What is this? I can't get connected. Is there something wrong with the system? I don't think so. The brain talk system allows thought communication after both parties recognize and grant each other access. I can't be certain. But Yuito's consciousness may be starting to disappear. So this could lead to severe memory loss? As much as I hate to say it, Yuito might lose all his memories. Then what'll happen to Yuito? It could be said that memories make up the person. If they're all lost, it would be like that person just disappeared. No! That can't happen! 
then we'll just have to re-establish the connections. Re-establish? What do you mean? We can digitize our memories and send them into Yuito. It should be possible with the SAS. That's crazy! There's no way that'll work! No, actually it might... Personality Rehabilitation Research has proposed a theory for transplanting memories. Okay. Tell me everything you know. I'll program whatever we need. Wait, you're going to do that right now? Of course. Who do you think I am? Although I can't say it won't be without difficulties. I'll do what I can if it means saving Yuito. We'll get over any difficulties. No hesitation, not even for a second. That's what I like to see. Very nice. His brain might die if we don't do something. We can't lose Yuito, especially if we ever plan on taking care of the red strings in the Kunad Gate. Hanabi, don't stop talking to him until we're ready. External stimulation will be able to delay memory loss to a certain extent. Uh, okay. Yuito! Hey, Yuito! Okay, the program's ready. This should work. Luca, I hope you're right. Already? Man, you're fast when you actually try. Wait, let me take a look at the program too. Dr. Pope's memory should help. Well, isn't that convenient? Okay? I'd be honored to have my work checked by a great pioneer. This isn't enough. A memory is first formed when information is memorized, retained, and then recalled. Of course, how could I forget? I see, so that's how it works. Impressive, Dr. Pope. We don't know Yuito's brain framework. We need to choose the right memory region to input new information, or... Whoa. I gotta say, I didn't imagine this would actually come in handy. It's not exactly detailed, but here's a scan of Yuito's brain. What? Why do you have something like that? You guys were connected to that data terminal in Tugetsu, right? They were secretly recording your information then. So that's what that terminal was intended to do. Don't worry. I realized what they were doing and deleted the data. I mean, I did keep a copy for myself. And again, you didn't tell us. Well, thank you. Now we'll be able to set the correct memory region. I used my clairvoyance to check. These designated coordinates match with the abnormal region. If that's what Sugumi saw, it must be right. Now we just have to run it. Stay still! Damn it! I'm no anesthesiologist, but it got the job done. This should make it easier. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Yama, could you use your power to secure Yuito in place? I see. To connect the SAS cable. Will this do? Perfect. Okay, everyone. I'm connecting the SAS cable. I'll run the program when it's connected. You guys just start thinking about memories you have of Yuito. All right. Okay. Here goes nothing. <sighs> <clears throat> What 
is this? What's going on? It looks like the memories we sent Yuito are reacting to his vanishing memories. And that's what's subconsciously triggering his power? So what does that even mean? It means we most likely succeeded. <sighs> we did it. But, but he's not waking up. That's because Sheedan knocked him out. Go on and wake him up. Okay, I'm getting him up. What's wrong? Why aren't you waking up? Sheedan, did you make a mistake? Impossible! I'm an expert on electricity, I wouldn't make a mistake! But... Yuito's body... It's getting colder by the second. Is he losing body heat? If it keeps up, he'll go into hypothermic shock. No... You're not dying today! Hanabi, wait! What are you doing? Are you increasing your own body temperature with your power? That's a lot of sweat. Stop! Forcing your temperature up like that, your body won't be able to withstand it. It's okay. I can handle it. Compared to the pain and suffering he's been through, this is nothing. Come on, Yuito. Please come back. <sighs> Yuito! Hey, Yuito! Yuito, welcome back. <clears throat> Kasane? And everyone, why are you here? Are you okay? Do you have a headache or feel nauseous? I think I'm fine. What happened? Do you remember being attacked by my brother? Yeah. Then Arahabaki invaded my mind, and I was forced to use my power. What happened after that? So, I could have lost everything. Which means... The memories I have now are the connections you made for me. Thanks. Your head really doesn't hurt? Is there anything you can't remember? I have my memories, and my body feels fine. If you have your memories, does that mean you have old memories as well? Even memories from before meeting us? What? Yeah, I do. Although, it's kind of strange that I'd have old memories if they all had to come from you guys. So, does that mean we were able to restore the memories beyond our own? Or is it simply luck that they weren't erased? Wait. When we all connected through the SAS, it felt like there was a transmission from an external server. Were you storing your past memories on one? No. Why would I do that? What do you even mean? I see. Then what was that? I have a feeling it was something to do with Yuito's restored old memories. It doesn't make sense that he has all his old memories back if all we did was give him ours. There is a lot to think about, but I believe it's time we leave. It's dangerous to stay here. You're right. Can you move, Yuito? Yeah, I'm okay. Kasane, you're all coming too? Yes. We have no business with Arahabaki. I'm glad you're okay. 
Now let's get out of here. Kasane. A lot happened, but I'm glad we're all on the same team. We're a team on the run from our former allies. But I think I feel the same. Unverified information, my ass! You can't trick us anymore! Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us! Who's going to believe you now? There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used Arahabaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you, Ito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived, but rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe, and... Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. We should all go back to my hideout to give Major General Fubuki some much-needed rest. Thanks for having us. Wow. So this is your guys' hideout. Is it the same type of unit we use? The make looks identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings, then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. <sighs> oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. <sighs> Thank you. 
the truth about Chairman Sumeragi's assassination. I haven't had to say anything about it yet. I have to tell him. It's about his father. No matter how you look, it doesn't change the person inside. Even so, I want to dress up sometimes. I wonder why. Sorry for bringing so many people to your hideout, Kasane. It's fine, we'll share. Please feel at home, Hanabi. Wow, thanks. It's nice to have everyone together despite the situation. together again. How wonderful. Right, Sugumi? Kagura, you hid something from me. You hid something. Don't say it twice like that. I'm sorry, I am. I'm really sorry. 